The early details emerging Monday about Las Vegas shooter Stephen Paddock are of a quiet, retired 64-year-old who liked to gamble and attend concerts. So far, it appears Paddock had a squeaky clean record, says Clark County Sheriff Joseph Lombardo. We have no um, investigative information or background associated with this individual that is derogatory. Uh, the only thing we can tell is he received a citation several years ago, and that citation was handled as a matter of normal practice in the court system. Leading to many unanswered questions, most pressing among them, why would a guy like that open fire on a concert on the Las Vegas Strip in the worst mass shooting in modern American history? Police searching his home in Mesquite, Nevada, 80 miles northeast from Las Vegas, found even more weapons. The investigation now moving on to the discovery of a second residence in northern Nevada. All this has been too much for Paddock's family, his brother clearly having trouble coping. We're shocked, horrified, completely dumbfounded. Not an avid gun guy at all. The fact that he had those kind of weapons is just... Where the hell did he get automatic weapons? Um, the fact that my brother did this is, there's no, there's nothing. Adding that his brother had no known mental health issues and never had any run-ins with the law. Insight into family history coming out, Paddock's father had been a bank robber and spent time on the FBI's 10 most wanted list. One claim being refuted by the FBI, Islamic State's suggestion that Paddock was working on its behalf. We have determined to this point no connection with an international terrorist group. As this investigation continues, we will continue to work with our partners to ensure that this is factually, thoroughly, and absolutely investigated to be able to bring comfort and peace back to this community. Comfort and peace. Two things that will certainly be hard to come by with investigators still unsure of what prompted Paddock, who never popped up on law enforcement's radar, to enter a hotel with 10 rifles that weren't even noticed by cleaning staff and open fire on an unsuspecting public and then killing himself before the police could get to him.